Holy cow! Well, it finally quit raining. Nice blue skies. Not too humid out here. I'm in a place on the north side of town here called... It's called the Vine Coffee House. Years ago, it used to be called Greenbriars. I worked there for one night, the dishwasher, and I got fired. Yes, I got fired after one night, even though the guy never actually said I was fired. He said, I'm going to let you go, and I was a little dense with it. And it took me a while to figure it out. He was firing me, so I never actually got fired. How do you like this? I like a lighthouse. Oh, my God, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm over here on the um, Court in Jefferson. I'm on the north side of town. I haven't been over this way. I've been over the north side. I think it's the first one. But I gotta cross the street here. Pretty big hill. There's a gas station to go. I think that's what it's called. You have to go. Pushing the button across the street. Whoops. Could take a couple minutes. Join Army National Guard. There you go. Not me. I like that rock. This is high V now, but when I was a kid, even after that, actually, it used to be um, Aldi's, which they have moved it since then. It's a high V and drugstore. Hey, 77 degrees. Okay, I'm going to recross the street here. Or try. I don't see any traffic. Okay. Meridian, Meridian Bank. I like that motorcycle. It's for sale, too. Not for me. I don't drive of any sort. Any kind whatsoever. This is a pretty steep hill. So I might... I might get out of breath here a couple of times. Got my water. I might get out of breath. This pretty steep hill. So you re hear me breathing heavy because of this hill. See? This is a steep sucker. This will really wear out anybody. Years ago, um, I don't know what it is now, something estates, but my grandpa, his last, this is like the 80s, his last um, visit was in this um, nursing home over here. It used to be a nursing home. It's called Woodland Estates now. Another thing happened when I was a kid, because I used to live around this neighborhood when I was a kid. I actually grew up around here. So a lot of childhood memories. This here, it's always been a, well, it's a lodge now, but it used to be a church. I think it's still a church. And me and my biological father went there for food. And they didn't give you a whole lot. And so we left. Still, still was hungry. It was on Thanksgiving. Went back to the house. We were still hungry. And had a full-fledged meal. Days when I would actually eat like that. Oh, let's see. Let me set this down here. I'm tad out of breath. Still walking up this hill, which is steep. Okay. Let me take a break here. It's a big hill. Okay. Drainage. All right. Let's see. Uh, medical place. New Cara. Uh, Nell Times, Milestone, and Quiznos is over there for sale or lease. 
made a quiz nose a couple times. They have pretty good subs. I was walking over this. Enel's Milestone Area Agency on Aging. Okay. And Quiznos. And, well, they're Trump supporters. Trump and tw Trump Pence 2020. Keep America great. Anyway, I'm not going to really comment too much on that. There's a kidney care and medical clinic called Grace. Hmm. Okay. Not really much to say about that. It's getting a little humid out here. Maybe it's because I'm walking up this hill. Terrence Hill Plaza. Accountants. That's called Edward Jones now. For years it was a bank. Social security officer, something like that, used to be in there. I think they moved it out to the airport of all places. And there's nothing out there. I finally made it up that hill. There's a dentist. My teeth were bad. I went there a couple times. Hammer. What a name for a dentist. Hammer. Not like MC Hammer either. Yeah, I'm glad I'm finally up that hill. That was steep. Trying to get a drink. Yeah, that used to be Social Security office. I believe it was Social Security office. I might be wrong on that. Another dentist. Dennis M. Gillespie, I think that's how you say it. Okay. They had a doctor's office back there called Grace. And on the lower level of this building is MB uh, Grace Fellowship. Okay. That's a little weird. These are really nice apartments, but these are for the people that have some money. I mean, a lot of money. I know a few people that live there, and that's a couple. And those are for people that have lots of money. They have like store shed back there, and a motorhome way back there. It's called, I'll get the name of it here in a minute. I could have went the other way towards the hospital, but I try to stay away from the hospital as much as possible. Here's the front of it. Yes, I've been looking for cameras, but I don't see any. I'm still careful. North Elm Condominiums. I think I'm going to go the other way. There's there really much down there. So I'll backtrack a little bit. It ain't too far. I just got to go down to about... Oh! Well, that truck is just turning. About there. So I'll go back the other way. Because there ain't much down that way. So I'll just... Probably go the hospital way. Um, I don't really want to get too close to the hospital, you know, zombie apocalypse, even though I think numbers are over-exaggerated, nonetheless. Oh, let's see. Now, let's see, I'm going to keep my eyes open for something I can film that's sort of interesting. Hmm. Shaped like a baseball diamond. 
probably have a kid that plays on the baseball team. Now, in minutes, doing good on time. Doing real good. One of my um, close friends on um, Facebook, no name, he lives in an apartment way over that way, a couple blocks over. I went over and seen her a couple times, watched movies. If you'll know. Anyway. Well, let's see. I'm back where I started. Elman, Pennsylvania. I decided to go back. That's a hill I walked up. That was a breath killer. That really put me on a breath. Doesn't help that I smoke. What does it deal with this wall? Look at that. It's all the way around. Like anybody couldn't, no, no, no way nobody could climb that. Anyway, oh, let's see. Somebody showing their American pride. Got a flag. I like it when people show their patriotism. This is over by the hospital. It's a pretty yard. Well kept up, too. Ooh, look at that. Just stop and smell the flowers. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. See, you never know what you're going to see when you're out walking. You have to, this is where my photography eyes come from, because I took a photography class in college. My best grade in class I got was an A, because quite frankly it was easy. And I'm always, it may look like I'm always looking at the phone, but I'm not. Not always. I'm always looking around. Huh. I like that shed. Bright red. I really need to take a seat. I haven't taken a seat the whole time I've been walking. I really know where to Nowhere to set. They remodel this bank. Looks a lot different. Sort of a funny shaped looking bank. A few more Dennis's. Evans. I think they're brothers, I think, if I remember correctly. Take a drink and I got water. Oops. I, I hold this up with my hold the phone up with my other hand, with one finger, and then I'm not holding it tight enough and it falls off. And sorry about that. Hard to get exactly with one hand, which I had three hands. Look cow. How do you like that? That's got a great big steeple on it. I like that. Can't see the time. Okay, almost 15 minutes. Doing great. Where's that steeple? How do you like that? Oh good, there's ways I can set my phone down. I'm in a driveway though, so I probably won't set. Okay. Getting a little humid out here. Oh boy. Okay.
Hmm. Class of 2020 lives here. Cardinal School. That's not for here in Atoma. It's like, I can't remember where Cardinal is. It's, it's a town close around here, maybe like Eddyville or some small town like that. How would you like to mow this grass? How'd you like that? Great big steep hill. That wouldn't be fun. I see something over there that's sort of catching my eye. And unfortunately, it's, wow. Fortunately, it's in the yard. I wish the neighbor was out. I'd ask him if I could film it. I can't get any closer and up here, I don't want to be trespassing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's cool. I wish I could get closer. Hi, can I film? I'm just on, I'm a YouTuber, and I like to film stuff for videos. Can I film some of your stuff in your yard? All right, thank you. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is nice. I like that. Oh, look at that horse and buggy. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I claimed that guy, he let me. Oh, look, look at the cannon. Look at the cannon, that is so cool. That is so cool. Even got like little bitty cannon things down there. That is really cool. Look at this bell of hay. Oh, I like that. Oh. The old ringer washer you do by hand. Oh, that is nice. I like that. Oh, another horse and buggy. Oh, cool. Looky up there. Oh, cow head. This is cool. Oh, equipment for horse and buggies. There's a Confederate flag, which are now considered races. Oh, this is so cool. I'm glad that guy, I'm glad I asked the guy about that. He let me. He was really nice about it. He was really nice about it. An old lantern up there. A little bitty red lantern. There's a rooster. There's that horse and buggy. That's more like a sleigh. Oh, that is nice. That is not. Look at this. Well, cooking equipment. Look at that. Little bucket. Oh wow. That guy was nice. I just asked him politely. And he let me do it. I'm glad you have to ask. Now, that was worth my video. It was really worth it. See, not everybody is a, a complete asshole. And he was really nice about it my grandma towards she was like 92 I think or something like that when this was um, a sunny slope nursing home before she moved to Good, Good Sam where she ended up living another five or six years anyway she was originally stationed here before they, they moved her to um, um, Good Sam. Um, it's a hospice building now, and I'll show it to you when I get up there. I talk too soon. Why is there an X on that tree? Good question. Right there. Sunny Slope, I think it was called. Pretty sure. It's a hospice place now. But it used to be a nursing home. And Grandma um, was there until they moved her to Good Sam. That's what she spent the rest of her her last, I don't know, six, seven years in a nursing home. Up here is our, our hospital. And I've always wondered how many hospitals in America have this across the street. 
a cemetery. And a pretty good sized cemetery. It goes all the way down there. You can't see with this hill, but it goes all the way down there. Ah, oh, hospice. I like that horse. Anyway, I just want to know, how many hospitals have a cemetery across the street from them? I just think it's totally random. And up here is our hospital. No, I'm not going in. I'm just uh, showing sites. See, I'm a regional health center. You know what? I'm not gonna go on the hospital property. Not at all. Nothing to really show. Nothing to really show. And emergency, outpatient, medding, main entrance, and the cancer center. Oh boy. Hey, over there are some more of that cemetery I told you about. It's a pretty good size. Big cemetery. I just wonder how many hospitals have a cemetery right across the street. My doctor is on the other side of this, this hospital. He has an office. Um, Dr. Dawson. He's my um, doctor. Technically, he's a family doctor, but he treats, he has treated me for my seizures for quite a few years, and he's a great doctor. I absolutely love him. He's a great doctor. Sean Dawson, if you're wondering. He's a family doctor. And he's really good with, with people. Really good. I would recommend him highly. See? There's a cemetery. I know, it's sort of grim. I think a healthcare worker. A hero. Eh, okay. I guess you could say they are. I don't know. I did a video on that. They say that anybody's a hero nowadays. Oh, I got some shade right here. I'm gonna take a seat. I'm gonna take a seat. Yep, getting close on time here, 22 minutes. And that guy, that guy I talked to was, he was great. He let me film in his yard with no problems. I didn't want to stick down, stick around too long, but I did get some good sights on my videos. Ah, nice shade. I'm losing weight. These walks can really take it, take it out of you. Isn't that beautiful blue sky in the background, this tree. And they have an empty parking lot at the hospital. Really empty. Can't blame them. I stay away from the hospital too if I were them. Probably not, not much more to do on this video, but you know, I'll walk up here a little ways. I like to make my videos as long as possible, as long as I'm allowed to. And I love doing these outdoor videos. I know, they're low budget, unedited. Adam the Woo is one of my favorite YouTubers. He has a computer and he has a high quality phone, all kinds of other stuff. And he um, sort of slices his videos together, you know, during the days. And his is are edited. Dead end. Nice word to have it right by the hospital. Dead end. Now I'm coming up on the country. So I'm probably going to end this video. More doctors over there. MA and MD. Um, you know what? I'm probably going to end this video because. I'm coming up on the countryside. Uh, up there's the country. I don't want to go out of town. My ride is going to be picking me up here in a little bit. But they have to figure out where I'm at first. Um, Department of Veteran Affairs is in that building. That's not what I remember in that building. It was a really nice, um, sort of like a nursing home living place. Well... 
I'm going to, well, I'm going to take a seat on another tree, and then I'm going to end this video, because really ain't much, nothing else to film, and I'm getting a nice breeze right now, which feels good. Okay. Well, I got onto the north side today, and, well, 26 minutes. Well, nice view in the background there with the tree again. Um, well, if you like my videos, um, please subscribe. I almost said mean just a cow. I did have to figure out how to take him on one of my trips. It'd be a little hard when I have one hand with a phone, and my tripod, and then one hand with my drink. So it'd be a little bit hard. Well, like I said, if you like my videos, please, please subscribe. And, well, that's all for now.